Hi everyone and welcome to Astrid. This is what we're going to do today. This is my wheatgrass head and I've called him Zed. He's very cool and groovy. And I did this on the Good Morning Show a couple of weeks ago and I went, I had a few time issues and I didn't quite get it done and I've had lots and lots of complaints. So guess what, I'm going to do it again so please do not let me get into trouble by having to repeat things. But anyway, what I've got here is um, just some sphagnum moss and the wheat just grows in the top, really easy to put together. Let me show you what you need. You need a pantyhose, either a pantyhose sock or an old pair of pantyhose and then just cut the feet out of them or the legs to a desired length. All right, the next thing you need to do is to put a, is to just put a little, if you're using like not the whole foot, just put a little um, knot in there. Then this is the secret. This is my improved method of doing it. Get a glass like this and you need some wheat. Now you can, could use oats, but I found the oats took far, far too long to grow. This is much, much quicker for kids because they can see that germination and they can see the hair growing and it's just marvellous. Right, a, about a tablespoon is about as much as you need into there. Then with the sphagnum moss, which you, which you can get from the garden centre and it looks like this, this stuff is fantastic. You just put it into a bowl and just let it suck it at its own weight and water up. So get it to a size that you desire and then just squish out any extra excess water at this stage and form it into a little ball. Then that gets put on the top there and by using the glass what happens is the wheat gets to stay down the bottom in here as opposed to like getting around the back because if you get it around the back there what we'll have find if you um, if this is the front or this is the front whichever you decide if you don't do it right then the it looks like the wheat head man's got all these whiskers coming out but anyway push that down into there until you get it to the size that you want it to be now that there is still not big enough for me so I'm going to just put a wee bit more into here you could use soil you can use sawdust but I sort of like actually like to use these growing for um, making my own wheat grass so just push that into there until you get it to and this is where you're going to have to have a fiddle because that bit there that where this bit around here needs to be really lovely and solid right from there the next thing is to put the eyes now I'm using the teddy bear eyes because I quite like them so you need to put those in to there about this stage which means you're going to have to go up into there and then just push that into there and it's got this little ugh, it's fiddly it's got a little stay thing that just pushes onto there you could use the wiggly eyes but I find that they come off now Eyes and placement is very important. So I've got one eye there and I'm going to put another eye just into there like that. Push that through there and be careful you don't make it too big because the wheat or the oats might come out. So that goes onto there and then if you want a little nose, that little nose can go into there like so. And I hope I've got everything in the right place because it can be very unpleasant for, or visually unpleasant for me if I see my wheat head with a, a nose that's in the wrong place. Right, push that right back into there. You might have to get your hand into there, in fact I do. And it is a bit fiddly, but these are great. When I was a little girl, my nan showed me how to make these. And it was one of those little lessons on how to see things growing and germinating. Right, you can either use a rubber band or you can just pull that really, really tightly and then knock that off like so. Let me just wipe that across there. Oh, look, sweet. So the wheat's all around here. As I said, be careful you don't put the whole, make the holes too big here because what will happen is these, they, it could run and then you might not be able to keep everything in place. Right, from there, the next thing to do is to get your glass, put a little bit of water into there because you've already got the wet sphagnum moss so you don't have to wet this very much at all. So then that goes into there like that and then what I did, if it's a cool place at your place, put it into the hot water cupboard. It takes probably three to four days for the wheat to start germinating and for wheatgrass if you wanted to have a nice you know make a nice drink out of it just cut that off and I think that the great things for the kids is they can cut it and it'll just continue to grow easy easy peasy I hope you've enjoyed that thanks for watching and I'll see you another day